Now, CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Well, if there's any good news tonight, it's that Tropical Depression 13 is not any better organized. In fact, it's poor, very, very poorly organized. Barely a tropical depression. Winds at around 35 miles an hour, but that's probably on the high end. It is moving quickly to the west-northwest. That quick speed is also hampering organization, uh, keeping it from getting better organized. There are tropical storm watches. Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and Northern Leeward Islands there in the threat cone shows it uh, moving to the west forecast to become a tropical storm in about 24 hours or so and then continue on to the west it could make a track a little bit farther to the south uh, we would see that as good as far as we're concerned because it would very much limit the strengthening encountering both puerto rico and hispaniola would be very very disruptive to it but the latest forecast keeps it just north of the islands there from the national hurricane center this is the sunday evening time frame and it's this area here on sunday that we're going to be watching very very closely as long as it's not over land it does have an opportunity to strengthen. Now, it's going to be moving pretty quickly. That's good, too, because it doesn't have a lot of time to strengthen before it gets here. It's forecast to become a minimal hurricane either sometime uh, Monday night or during the day on Monday on approach to us. That's a possibility. We could see hurricane conditions here. It's a possibility in South Florida. And then there's the Tuesday time frame. Here are the computer models this evening. They have shifted a little bit to the south. We talked about this uh, the last several days, how they're kind of going up and down. They went up. They've gone to the south a bit. They may even go a little bit farther to the south now and uh, bring the track more over the islands there. Here is the noon position on Monday, so still at least a very close approach. And uh, unless it goes, they go, it goes over the islands, uh, it's probably going to be some type of tropical storm or maybe even a weak hurricane. This is the big news tonight. It's a tropical depression, the 14, just about to become a tropical storm, will likely become Laura. Tropical storm warnings in effect for central parts of Central America and a hurricane watch for the Yucatan. The forecast says for it to become a tropical storm by tomorrow, and then a hurricane rapidly intensifying on the way to the northwest in the Western Caribbean, weakening briefly and then forecasted to strength strengthen once again to a hurricane approaching the Texas or Louisiana Gulf Coast. Folks on the Gulf Coast are watching this very, very closely, just like we're watching uh, Tropical Depression 13 out there. Here is 14 tonight, and I'll, I'll show you the two. It's pretty amazing. Look at the outflow on this, this thing here. It is completely round. Upper level outflow is ideal. It just doesn't have really many thunderstorms, but as soon as they fire up near the center, this thing is really going to intensify quickly. Compare that to that's Tropical Depression 13. Kind of a mess out there, and if, if I didn't point it out, it'd be hard to find where the center is. Hurricane Hunters found it up there, not even close to that big ball of thunderstorms. So, needless to say, 14, the one in the Caribbean, has a much better chance of developing quickly. 13, the one out to our east, it's going to be a slow go. Closer to home, we've seen some showers and thunderstorms. Big activity coming up towards the lower keys. High temperatures today were in the low 90s. We saw passing storms. Current temperatures, a comfortable evening, mainly in the 70s. The moisture is moving out. Drier air is moving in for Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday. And then by Monday, the models have two named systems potentially entering the Gulf of Mexico. For us tonight, we'll see a stray storm other than that. Not too steamy, a low near 78. Tomorrow, look for a bit more sunshine. Shine. A bit of a breeze off the ocean and a brief shower. High temperature near 90 degrees on the water winds southeast at 15. Seas running two to four feet, taking us through the weekend. It's looking not as stormy Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, of course. Monday and Tuesday depend on the track of Tropical Depression 13. CBS 4 News tonight's coming right back.